I think that what's very important is what I tell my kids uh, is, and my, and my students and my clients, I'll tell you about my business in a moment, is I always say <clears throat> it's preparation intersecting with opportunity. You probably have heard that in some form before. It's preparation intersecting with opportunity. <clears throat> now, you obviously can't wait until the last minute to get ready. You can't say, oh, this is what I want to do. And then when the opportunity comes, then you say, oh, wait, 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 wait. I, oh, just give me a second. I get to get my communication skills together. And then I have to get my education together. I have to do this together, get that together. And yes, we're in the process. We are in the process of, of preparing ourselves for things. But when the opportunity comes, you want to be as prepared as you possibly can. So think about it. Uh, uh, Stephen Covey, who wrote Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, one of his habits, he says, begin with the end in mind. Meaning, if you know that's what you want, there it is, over there, that's what I want, I want that right there, then go backwards to see how you get there. Go backwards. Here's the end, this is the end product, this is what I know I want, who I want to be, where I want to go, what I want to accomplish. Now, how do I get there? I need to take the steps backwards to say, what does it take to get there? So begin with the end in mind so that you know how to prepare yourself when those opportunities come, and they are going to come. And I think that that is so important, and I think that is one of the major things that really, really helped me and my parents and how they shaped me in thinking about how, who I wanted to be um, and what I wanted to become. And also what I tell people, uh, is nobody, and this is going to sound a little bit harsh, but this really is true. I always would tell my kids, nobody is thinking about you. Make them think about you. Let me say that again, because that sounds really harsh, doesn't it? I said, nobody is thinking about you. Make them think about you. And what do I mean by that? I mean, I tell people all the time, you've got to talk about your vision. You've got to say, this is what I'm doing. I'm in school right now, and I'm working on that. Or I'm thinking about this business that I want to do. Or I'm thinking about I want to be a musician or an athlete or a scientist or uh, in politics or whatever. And the way I, the reason I say talk about the vision is because you never know who's listening. If I don't tell you, hey, this is what I want to do, you can't say, you know, I know somebody who can help you out. I didn't know you were interested in this, 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 and this. You know what, I have a friend who works here, 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 here. Let me give you a, them a call and introduce you to them, you to them. So when you talk about the vision, sometimes when I say, tell people, you need to talk about the vision, they say, oh no, that sounds like bragging, or that, that, that sounds like you're a narcissistic person. That doesn't mean that at all. Because I remember I heard Oprah say this once. He said, if you keep your skills and your talents to yourself, somebody goes lacking. Somebody who needed whatever you have to offer, somebody really, really needed that, and you were too afraid or too selfish or too whatever to give away those skills and gifts and abilities and talents. And because I kept them to myself, somebody who absolutely needed that skill, who would benefit from that, who would have a better life, who would be more successful and more skillful and more, uh, skillful and more everything else, they could have been that, but you didn't give away what you had to help them along. So when I say uh, nobody's thinking about you, make them think about you, that's what I mean. Talk about the vision, talk about your goals and your dreams, your aspirations, because it does a couple of things. One is that when you hear yourself say it, it becomes more real. It really does. When I decided to start a business, I had kept it in my head. I never really thought I was an entrepreneur, even though my parents were entrepreneurs. They, had a, they were caterers. That's one of, the, one of the many things that they did. They had multiple jobs. And I always sort of wanted to start a business, but I didn't really say it out loud because I thought if I said it out loud, then somehow I'd be responsible for doing it. But once you say it, as some people say, say it out to the universe or something like that, it makes you responsible. And it makes it more real. I told her that my daughter is moving from Boston to LA. And what I told her is, I said, Joy, what you need to do, you can say all day long, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do this. I said, but until you take it, say it out loud that, so somebody can hold you accountable, take a date and say, you know what, I'm gonna write this on my calendar. So for real, for real, I'm gonna do this and then take the move, then you're really not gonna do it. 
And she said, Mom, you're right. So she said, the, uh, she's coming in, uh, coming in on Monday. Her birthday, she'll turn 28 on Tuesday. And on Wednesday, she's leaving for LA. And I told her, I, when she picked the date, I said that was fantastic because what happened? It became real because she spoke it out, <coughs> didn't she? And then now we, we got to say, Joy, you're still doing that? Are you still, yes, yes, yes. So she became accountable. So that's what I say, and that's what has helped me in the background. My, my parents or somebody, whoever it is, someone to move you along, to push you, to encourage you, to tell you how fantastic you are, to ask you questions, to say, what are you doing? How can I help you along? Two, number two, to give our gifts away because that helps us. Just think about your favorite um, athlete or artist or musician. If they say, no, 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 I don't want to give that gift away, all this, who is the, the, the basketball player? Um, Lynn, what's his name? Jeremy. Jeremy Lynn. If Jeremy said, you know what, I don't, you know what, I, I don't want to share my, 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 I'm going to say my little basketball gift, but obviously he's not little, but everything is Lynn Fat, Lynn Tastic, and Lynn this and Lynn that. But just think if he decided he didn't want to share his gift. All this Lynn stuff and all this wonderful stuff, we would go lacking and just enjoying it, right? That's what I mean. Give it away because you get so much out of it. And at the same time, you enrich and encourage and enlighten other people's lives. And it is so amazing. And so that part is so important. And that's what I said. Talk about your vision. Prepare for your opportunities and make people think about you. This production has been brought to you by Image Entertainment in partnership with New Journal and Guide. Subscribe today.